Good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, just past two o'clock on Saturday, the 27th of March, 2021. Welcome to a bit of afternoon comedy news, where we're literally going to be laughing at shit corners with shit for brains. <laughs> because the stuff that they get up to, like, you've got to see it to believe it. So, let's get into uh, article numero uno. Check this out. So, this says... Phantom, which is a shitcoin, brushes off network outage with another 50% price surge. So, (laughs) judging by the title, it says the network suffered an outage and yet shitcoiners went in and pumped the price 50%. Does that make any logical sense whatsoever? No, it doesn't. So what we're going to do is just kind of a a little read of this to uh, see how they've justified it or explained it. Let me just get my uh, tablet sorted out so I can see what everybody else is seeing. And it's not not working. Hold on. Open up Twitch TV once again. Here we go. Ah, live. Thank you very much, finally. There we go. I'm just turning my volume down because it will come on in just a second. You better Hey. Right, Phantom brushes off network outage with another 50% price surge. Well, you know what I mean? Uh, Price fixes everything, doesn't it? With over 3,000% growth since the turn of the year. (laughs) That's a a 30x. That's a 30x since the turn of the year. Oh, my God. Uh, Even a recent network outage couldn't stop Phantom's bullish surge. And again, when they're talking bullish, they're just talking number go up. There's no value in this thing whatsoever. In fact, we'll just do a little bit of uh, due diligence on here. Uh, we'll find this. So, uh, Phantom. Let's see what comes up. Phantom, this will be the one. Website. Dear, oh dear. All right, what's the bet? Uh, what's the bet? It's going to be like on Etherscan, like an ERC20 token. Uh, you know, is it going to be, I doubt it's going to be pre-mined, proof of stake or something like that, delegated proof of stake, something like that anyway. Uh, let's, let's find out what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, speed, security, reliability, going to revolutionize the blockchain. Oh my God. What a joke. Uh, Phantom composes thousands of transactions per second. The scale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. You know, they're mentioning Ethereum. Phantom is an EVM um, compatible. Deploy and run your Ethereum app on Phantom. <laughs> oh, look, look, they're already mentioning DeFi already. It's really not looking good. It's really uh, staking. Look at that, staking. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Staking, so that means it's some kind of like, you know, proof of stake, uh, protocol, delegated proof of stake, whatever. Um, let's have a look. They'll have, there should be a link to its, uh, you know, blockchain something. I bet it goes to Etherscan, you know. Oh, look, stake all this phantom and uh, lock it in. Oh, my God. A blatant Ponzi scheme. Uh, this is like, this is literally the same as um, Richard Hart and, uh, you know, Bitcoin Hex. What an absolute joke. Uh, but, you know, shitcoin is shit for brains. That's why we're uh, reporting on it for a bit of afternoon comedy news. Ha! <laughs> um, stake on Phantom. Oh my god. Phantom DeFi, buy, sell, lend, borrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Synthetic attics, what a load. Of, synthetic assets, what a load of crap. Consensus. Uh, there we go. Discover uh, Laxus Phantom Ultra Fast Consensus Protocol. Opera Chain. Phantom Mainnet with staking EMV support. Uh, let's have a look at this consensus bollocks. What is Lactesis? Last chessis. Consensor, uh, consensus algorithm. Simply put, a consensus mechanism is, a, uh, is the engine that powers the blockchain. Shut up. They know nothing. Compared to classical and Nakamoto consensus, this one is a uh, more scale, faster, more scalable, more secure choice. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Come on. Peer to peer. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Here we go. Um... Oh, it, it never tells you, does it? Absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Oh, yeah, it's got to be Byzantine fault tolerance. Practical Byzantine fault tolerance. No, it's such a load of shit. They're already talking about staking. 
which means there is no proof of work, which means there is no competition between the stakeholders, which means it's a centralized network and worth absolutely nothing. It's a centralized private database. It's an absolute load of shit. God. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's see if we can find out what it actually says. Ecosystem. Will there actually be anything on this ecosystem tab? Let's have a look at this. Opera Chain. What a load of crap. What is Phantom Opera Chain? Are you kidding me? They actually called it Phantom Opera Chain. <laughs> Oh my god. It's a secure and fast environment to build decentralized, what a load of crap, uh, applications. It is a fully permissionless, yeah, whatever, an open source powered by Phantom's ABFT consensus algorithm, whatever that means. It leverages its speed and fast finality and is ready for real world applications with no risk or congestion. It's going to make you a billion dollars. It's going to revolutionize and use the blockchain and blah, 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 blah. Lead proof of stake. There we go. Well, unlike traditional proof of stake since systems, uh, there were some validators uh, decide where some validators decide on the validity of the transactions. Opera is completely different; is completely leaderless. In other words, the validators do not determine which blocks are valid. Removing leaders increases network security and scalability. Bollocks! 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 If you have a strong technical background and at least uh, three million one hundred seventy-five thousand phantom tokens, you can run a validator node. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm so, I'm livid right now. I, I literally I just can't read the rest of it. It's just such a load of shit. But anyway, there we go. The decentralized smart contract platform continued its uh, resurgent rally to the tune of 50% on Monday despite a temporary network outage that saw the blockchain stop producing blocks for seven hours. <laughs> Oh, there. Phantom emerged among the uh, top 100 in the market capitalization rankings in January, eventually going on a 5,000% run. That's 50, uh, 5,000. That's 50 times. Oh, my God. Uh, the run that peaked in uh, late February. Since then, the coin's bull run subsided, but this value against the US dollar still stands 3,434% higher than it did on Jan 1st. The Phantom was subject to a brief blackout on February 25th uh, when block production was halted after two validators slowed down the rate of emissions. Phantom is a proof of stake blockchain where 39 validator nodes oversee a block creation on behalf of stakers. The two validators in question represented one third of uh, Phantom staked on the platform. The development team successfully coordinated because they're centralized. Uh, and applied a temporary patch that got the network up and running again uh, seven hours later, a recent announcement by Phantom stated. See, again, this is absolute bollocks. This is why you need proof of work. You need competition between those who maintain the network so that if somebody Fs up, like happened here, you've got those others taking the slack. Like, yeah, nice one, we'll have that, you imbeciles. You know, you incompetent, in, uh, com you know, whatever it is. You know, that, that's what they were saying. That's why you need competition. This is a centralized network. It's such a load of crap. Um, but yeah, that's why I thought I'd bring it up because it's quite funny. Shit corners, shit for brains. And talking about shit corners, shit for brains, look at this one. Uh, Decentraland's mana token hits new all-time high with Atari set to build in World Casino. <laughs> mana Surge was followed by Atari's ATR token and then Decentraland Games DG token. All three of which soared to new all-time highs in the wake of the news. Oh, there's a casino on it. Well, yeah, we've got peer games on um, uh, on Bitcoin. And oh, what else have we got? For gambling. Um, can't remember. But anyway, I mean, this is such a load of crap. You know, like, mana is on Ethereum, as far as I can remember. Which means it's another project that's literally doomed. Like, literally doomed to fail. Uh, here we go. Mana. Let's have a look at this. M-A-N-A. -A. Mana Decentraland. Website. 
Create, explore, and trade the first ever virtual world owned by its users. Yeah, the virtual world built on Ethereum that is going to collapse. It's literally like building a city on a fault line. It's just so ridiculous. Marketplace, builder blogs, events, DAO blog. What a load of absolute crap. Test the limits of your imagination. Start building. No, why would I waste my time? Because you guys are a bunch of uh, imbeciles who don't even know that you are wasting your time. Oh my god. Um, I mean, they, again, they hide this from you because, uh, and yeah, well, it's not going to take long for many people to figure this out, really, that it's just a load of crap. Oh, oh my god. Seriously? They should just say, Mana is built on Ethereum that is going to collapse. Play, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I really can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, num number go up. Oh, look at this. Something like uh, uh, Decentral Games is a, a community-owned ecosystem based inside Decentraland, which is governed by its own users with the help of a decentralized autonomous organization. And again, it's just where like 50% of the voters decide what happens. Uh, a report, a reported 88% of the uh, profit share will be directed to the uh, DG DAO Treasury. Decentraland is a virtual realm built on Ethereum, comprising 90,000 parcels of land, each measuring 16 square meters. Users can build a range of applications and structures inside Decentraland, including games, marketplaces, and stores of the sale of digital and physical goods. Oh dear. Yeah, look, another one built on Ethereum. They have no idea. I mean, literally, all I have to do is laugh. I do find it highly amusing that like, they haven't figured this out yet. And uh, this was a report on like number go up. So um, as somebody had said here, NFT craze and institutional money to bring next 100 million crypto users, says Crypto.com CEO. Oh, that's, that's not pumping numbers, is it? Huh. The two main factors driving mass adoption are converging, says Crypto.com CEO uh, Chris Marzellak. Uh, watch Cointelegraph's latest interview with Crypto.com CEO Chris Marzellak to understand the catalyst that will push crypto to 2 million users. Uh, for more crypto and blockchain content, check out blah, blah, blah. Uh, when adoption, it took over a decade for crypto to reach 100 million users or 1% of the global population, according to a study by Crypto.com. But uh, Mars Alec, uh, expects the next 100 million users to arrive in a far quicker time frame. Well, is that actually really going to happen when Tether is no longer pumping it? You know, there will be a bear market. They will be running for the hills, especially when they realize, oh, what am I doing holding this thing? I can't use it. It's not for spending. It's not a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. It is a piece of digital dog shit. What am I doing with this thing? Storing my value while it while it's going down and down and down. What can I do with it? I can't even get it out. I can't even transfer it. It's so ridiculous. Um, <laughs> oh dear. I mean, th this is why I laugh. Like honestly, it's just it's just hilarious. So yeah, there we go. Bit of uh, afternoon comedy news. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you guys later. Get paid for posting your pics on Relica. Download the app now at www.getrelica.com. Get your tweet etched on Twitch, forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamanity, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data, not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to freebsv.com where you can claim your free Bitcoin. Then head over to Twitter and follow at IamZatoshi, where you can take part in his very generous and world famous free giveaways. The future of advertising meets the power of Bitcoin at Tonic Pow. Get paid for posting advertising campaigns to your social media profiles. Go to www.tonicpowadds.com.